Well, since we were talking about the cold weather just yesterday, the temperatures have been turned down even more in our temperature trend map. Here is a look. Uh, this white line right here is average. Today, we we're actually a little above average. It's 73. 70 is our average high. Our average high drops to 69 tomorrow and then goes down about a degree every other day right on through the first week of October. So we're down in the mid-60s by this time next week. But as you can see, our temperatures little below average the next couple of days, then we really drop below average. And this is the time period that we are really focusing on Saturday, Sunday, and Monday. A winter-like storm system setting up over the region with a big uh, dip in the jet stream uh, expected here, an Arctic front. We are going to get those windy conditions on Saturday coming down the Okanagan Valley and the Purcell Trench. Very very much like winter. Those soccer games on Saturday are going to be feeling even cooler than the temperatures might suggest because we're going to be looking at uh, wind chill out there for the kids. Also, the first frost or freeze of the season for many locations. Some of the outlying areas have already been down around there, but if you do have any tomatoes or other tender plants that you're trying to nurse through these last uh, few days of the growing season, you'll want to take precautions through the weekend. It looks like it's going to be especially cold um, Saturday night into Sunday morning and Sunday night into Monday morning. Also the potential for snow with this system because we are going to be unsettled with the chance of precipitation almost every day starting on Thursday. Uh, some snow mixing in in the valleys and accumulating snow possible in the mountains as well. Here's a look at your seven day forecast. We're dry tomorrow. Beautiful day. Light wind, sunshine, but cooler than today. Chance of showers coming in Thursday and Friday. We really start to see our temperatures drop into the 30s for an overnight low on Friday night into Saturday. I have three on our first alert uh, weather impact scales for the weekend and the beginning of next week for the precipitation, the wind, and again, the frost as we head into those overnight lows down below freezing. And uh, it's going to be an interesting uh, weather pattern heading on to Friday night. Still not sure what the Friday night uh, football scenario looks like, but <laughs> I can tell you it is. It is going to be chilly out there, Keith. It, it